Alrighty, welcome back to the third season of the Boston Bruins GM mode. I hope you've enjoyed the first two seasons so far, and this year we're hoping to make some improvements. So, I simmed through the offseason and the uh, draft after a very disappointing playoff run uh, last year, in which we lost, I believe it was to Toronto. Um, so, we're going to hope to make some improvement this year. In the offseason, we went out and acquired uh, two rookie defensemen out of free agency who uh, fit our core. So, we got... Uh, Van de Sompel and uh, Casey Fitzgerald. Um, as you can see, they both fit our team pretty darn well. Um, and if you look at our special teams on the power play, they allow us to get a plus five on that top pairing where David Pasternak and Brad Marchand are with uh, Jack Stanika. Or I could put Coil, but Stanika is much younger and I wanted to get him some growth, especially on that contract. Um, yeah, and then, so if you look at our lines, we got uh, Krejci, Stanika, and Pasternak on the first line with a plus three. We got Brad Marchand, Charlie Coyle, and Andre Kasha with a plus five. We got Nick Ritchie, Patrice Bergeron, and Jake DeBrusque with a plus one. And on the fourth line, Bjork, Frederick, and Derek Stepan with that plus one. In nets, it's still Tugarask, and backing him up is Vaini Vevelainen, who's on a pretty good contract. In the AHL, we got uh, Tyler Parsons, backed up by Ian Scott, each of which are on pretty cheap deals. And who have both grown fairly well. And then these are the AHL lines. I'm going to look for some growth out of force back of Carlson. The guy puts up goals galore. <laughs> As in he shoots a lot. He has 350 shots. I don't know what it is about this guy that EA made him shoot so much. But he does. I don't know what it is. But he does. Um, so hopefully he can get a lot of goals and grow. Um, I'll put him on the first line actually. I want to see some growth out of him. Yeah. Let me leave that. And then uh, we signed Barry Boulay as well. We... Uh, we didn't sign anyone else that major. Anyone else that major, other than Curtis McDermott, just to fill out the defensive core down here. Um, but yeah, and the only person we lost, uh, or the only two people we lost, I know we lost Eric Stahl in the off season just because of free agency and all that. He cost too much money, and I don't remember who else. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start the next season. Hopefully, we'll get some wins going. I'm gonna sim up to the trade deadline, uh, assess where the team's at. And look to make some uh, additions at the deadline. Uh, see who's available in big time names. Hopefully a better uh, a better playmaker for that top line. Just because David Krejci is just getting older. Um, so he's not going to be as effective by the end of the season. Um, so just in case he regresses, I want to get a better uh, top line uh, winger there. Alongside him and Pasternak. Uh, well, alongside Pasternak and Stadnika there. Um, so, so far not a great start to the season. I did change the coach from last year. Because he didn't get us a plus one on that, a plus three on that first line, and he didn't work very well just with the scheme fit and all that. Um, so speaking of which, coaching staff, I might have forgotten to change it since the addition. So let me just make sure I did this properly. Um, no, I did not. See, I knew I forgot something. Uh, we're gonna keep power around. This Jonas guy, I had signed him, but he's not growing, so sadly he's out of here. So we're going to do that. We're going to put Pau as the associate in the AHL. And we're going to sign two goalie coaches. Because why not, right? Um, Alright, teaching. All right, goalie coaches. Him. He's going to be the NHL goalie coach. Seems like a good guy. Seems like a good coach. Let's see if we can get him for two years. There we go. And then next guy is going to be this guy. AHL goalie coach. Max out his deal. Or at least make it higher than what that is. There we go. Yeah, that's why we're losing so many games. We didn't have any goalie coaches that were uh, properly suited for the team. So let's see if uh, let's see if we can see some uh, continued growth here. And maybe uh, at the deadline, I'll look for a better offensive guy. Uh, they can upgrade on the the. Wow. Okay. That's that's pretty rare. <laughs> that's pretty rare when it's mid season. You offer a contract to a coach and they say no. It's pretty rare. You know, you could use a job. So that's weird. It's a really weird thing. Uh, let's hire this guy then. Mathieu Goudreau. Because the other guy said no. Let's see if this guy says yes. Um, alrighty, let's get the sim going. We uh, we turned it around. We're, uh, well, turned it around. We're still second in our division, so... I guess our bad start didn't affect us too much. We're doing okay. There we go. See, that's what I expected. I offered the guy a lot more money than he was asking for, too. So that's, it was really weird they said no. Oh, three losses in a row. That's not good. Four. That's not good. I hate to see that. Uh, but we're top of the division, surprisingly. 
Oh, no, we're not. Wow, that was a quick fall. <laughs> that was a quick fall from Grace. Holy cow. That was crazy. All right, there we go. We're back. We're back near the top again. That's This is a close division. This is a very close division, as always, uh, especially in real life. Honestly, I think if it wasn't for COVID, I think the uh, Atlantic division would probably be the best division in hockey this year. That's just me. That's just my opinion. I also follow it the closest, too, so that's probably why I think that. But, uh, you know, you got you got your Florida Panthers who are playing really well this year. You got Tampa Bay. You got Boston. You got Toronto. You know, you got... You got well, the Sabres got better, but I mean, they're not playing much better than they were last year. You got Canadians who were supposed to be better. You got some good teams in that division. Uh, alrighty, so, holy cow, Brad Marshaw is killing it this year. Although, he did pretty good last year, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they did, they did really well last year. Um, so, looking at the team, plus 13 on that first line, plus 20 on the second line. They're doing alright on the third line. No one's doing bad. Defense, plus 17. No one's doing that bad. Honestly, no one's doing bad at all. Let me see how they're doing on the power play. Are they getting any points? Five. Nine. Alright, they're not doing that bad. Not doing that bad. Bevelinen. Oof, Tuka Rask has been letting us down. Oh my god. We've been outscoring our opponents, clearly. Um, Alright, let's see what's going on in the trade deadline. We're going to be a buyer. Let's see. There's nothing really like desperate to improve on but if we're going to do slow sim it's definitely going to be scary if we have to have the 79 overall defenseman on our first pair uh where does he fit four line three imagine jonathan huberto for the third line i mean it's doable <laughs> it's definitely doable uh, i'm trying to think who's on the third line uh forwards uh, i know bergeron's on the third line his value is dropping because he's getting old yeah, and he's not having as good of a season as he usually does. Kasha. Is Kasha on that third line? I think it's. I'm trying to remember. I know Bergeron is. I think it's Bergeron, Richie, and Kasha. Yeah. No. And uh, DeBrusque. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, who can I get rid of here? Jake DeBrusque's value is so low. He's not doing that well. Power play points, five. I mean, I'd, I'd happily throw DeBrusk in, but, I mean, what what player can we give them that they'll want? Throwing a first. Another year without a first-round pick. Rookie goalies, anybody good? No. Rookie skaters that they want? No. What the heck? Okay, this isn't going to happen. That's not going to happen. All right. What's up? What's up? What else is up here? Woo! All right, John Klingberg. John Klingberg, come on down, buddy. All defensive pairings. Oh, power play? All penalty. Mm, kind of risky. Kind of risky. Let me see if there's anybody else. Patrick Kane? Oh, my God. Imagine. Where do you fit? Forward line two? He can be on the... Oh, my... Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Andre Cash is locked up long term. I don't want to get rid of him. 5.8 million. DeBrusque, 4.1. I mean, that's nowhere close. But let's say I put on Kasha, right? He fits that second line. But Kane fits that second line, right? So throw in Andre Kasha. Any rookie skaters they want? Throw in Shing for now. Any draft picks? They want my second, but. It's my only pick this year. Throw in a second next year. Okay. I don't think they want. I don't think they'll want to retain though. Let's see if that goes through. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? All right. Well, we just got Patrick Kane. <laughs> we just got freaking Patrick Kane for the second line. Oh my god! All right, I guess we're going for it this year, boys. I guess we're going for it. All right, Evgeny Malkin fits the first line. That's the playmaker we wanted. That's the playmaker we wanted. I don't know how I can get rid of David Krejci, though. He's been at Boston Bruin his whole career, hasn't he? Hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, my God. How do I justify getting rid of Dave, uh, David Krejci? I don't think I can. Um, who else can I get rid of? Who else can I get rid of? I like Derek Stepan on the fourth line. Um, Bjork? I can get rid of Anders Bjork. <laughs> Thanks, Liv. <laughs> uh, 
Um, appreciate it. Uh, Anders Bjork, where is he? Oh, whoops. I'll get rid of that guy. We're making a playoff run anyway. We need all the people we can get. Yeah, that to retain. We have to retain some salary. Thanks for tuning in, Liv. Uh, oh my gosh, still? Still? Maybe I'll trade to Karask. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna give up all my draft picks now. I mean, I still have my first. If this goes through, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> oh my god! What? Alright, alright. We're going for it. We're going for it now. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever made this many trades in my life. At least for that good, like, that top talent like that. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Alright, there's no one down here that's good. Any offensive guys? I mean, Klingberg is still there. Justin Schultz. Four years left. No, thank you. Thanks, Liv. I appreciate it. I'm going to send you a little emoji here. Thank you, thank you. Let me let me see if that goes through. <laughs> um, well, glad you're enjoying the stream so far. Uh, alrighty, do we go for it? Top four pairings. He's old though. Brent Burns, three years left. No, thank you. I'll go for Klingberg. I'll go for Klingberg. They have to retain a lot of salary though. They have to retain a lot of salary. If they're gonna, if I'm gonna do this. Oh my god. Even then, it might not go through. Defenseman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the heart. Oh shoot, I just clicked the button. I just clicked a weird button, Liv, if I'm being honest with you. I have no idea what I just clicked. Um, yeah, I'll send you the heart back. I'll send you the heart back. Um, all right. We are going to give a, give up uh, Van de Sompel here. That's his name, Van de Sompel. He's having a great season so far. He's having a great season so far, but I think if we're going to... I mean, if we're going to get the guy, like, if we're going to get Klingberg out of it, you might as well, right? You might as well. Unless I give up Zaboral instead. He fits really well, but what's he doing this year? Wait, what? He's only played in two games. He's only played... Carlo? Two games? Oh my god, they haven't played. I'm going to give them up. They haven't even been playing. I'm still over the salary cap. Though. That's so weird. That is so weird. All right. Um, we're still over the salary cap. I don't know why. I don't want to give up Jake DeBrus. We're going for it this year. We're going all in this year. Uh, who can I get rid of to save cap for his back of Carlson? I wanted to get him to grow. Oh my gosh, we're still over the cap. That's crazy. All right, we're going to get rid of a goalie. We're going to get rid of a goalie by the name of Tuka Rask. That is heartbreaking, but we got to do it. We got to do it. Uh, who are we going to get here? Ben Bishop? Can they retain salary on him too? This is crazy. I don't think I've ever tried to go like this in depth for a trade before. Uh, okay. They don't really want what we're giving them, so... Oh my gosh. Alright, a third. Third and a fourth here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Third and a second instead. Oof. I feel like it's close though. Oh my, we have, like, we have no draft picks. Oh my god. We have no draft picks left. I mean, this is what happens when you go for it, right? This is what happens when you go for it. We have no draft picks left after this. Oh, this is tough. They don't want anything that I'm offering. Okay, I'll throw in a second from here. 
second from a few years down the line. Oh my god. Alright. I don't have to retain that much, I guess. Come on, Dallas. Throw me a bone. Throw me a bone here, Dallas. Yeah, these guys are mean. These guys are mean. Maybe I don't have to retain any salary on them. These guys are mean, man. I'll throw in a third. I don't know why that would have worked, but I figured I'd try it. What the heck? What am I supposed to do? I want Kleenberg. All right, I have an idea. I have a really weird idea, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna trade away Zaboral and Carlo, because I mean, they're not playing anywhere. I completely forgot about trading them away. They just sat there all year. I'm gonna trade them for picks. Hopefully I can get a second. Second and a six, I think better than that. And then second and a fourth from Philly. And then we're gonna do Zaboral. Uh, third and a fourth, second and a sixth. Here's what we're doing. Call me crazy, but this is what we're doing. Come on. Second's the highest we're gonna get here, isn't it? All right, and now we're gonna go back to annoying Dal. Oh no. They took him off the block. They took him off the block. Who does that? Um, okay. Shoot. They took him off the block. Alright. Um, who else can we get? Dang it, they took him off the block. Who does that? That's so mean. Uh, okay, anybody else? Any other offensive guys here? Come on. If they can retain a lot of salary on Brent Burns, I can make it work. I can make this work. If they retain $4 million on, on Brent Burns' contract, I can make this work. Alright. Defense. I think we'll give up Fitzgerald. Alright, now we have we have a bunch of picks to use here. Second and a third. Second. They said no, but I feel like it's close. I feel like it's close. Hmm. Yeah, it's the salary. It's the salary. Uh, first and two seconds. Hmm. Darn it. Darn it. Freaking Dallas, man. They ruin everything. Any other offensive guys? Justin Schultz, though, that's too much money. It's too much money for Justin Schultz, man. Anybody? Matt Grizzly? We had a, we already had Grizzly a while ago. Come on, Dallas. Maybe they traded him? Oh, they trade him to Winnipeg. They trade him to Winnipeg. Mmm, that's why. That's why he's not popping up. Alright, let's see if we can find someone else. Jamie Drysdale, Koltsov. He's defen is he defensive or off defensive, eh? Jamie Drysdale, where is he? 77. Ah. Eichmann Larson. No one here. Wait, is Soderstrom an offensive guy? No. Buffalo. Darlene, but no. We're, okay, no. Uh, come on, come on. Shillington. All pairings. That could work. Uh, Flurry. Oh, Jake Bean. All defensive pairings. Two years left. Okay. This could work. Uh, third. I'll give you Winnipeg and Philly seconds. Mm. Two thirds, two seconds for Jake Bean. Let's go. Let's go. All right, now we can get rid of uh, we can get one of these two guys. Get rid of one of these two guys. Let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of Van de Sompel, I think he's a lefty. Yeah. 
has more value than the other guy. Not to Montreal, hell no. Alright. Nashville could always use defensemen. Give me a fourth and a fifth. Hell yeah. There we go. Whew. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Trade deadline done. Trade deadline done. Alright. Jeez. They got two firsts for Klingberg. Carrier? He's not young anymore. Alright, let's edit these lines. Our team should be good to go, though. Our team should be good to go. Okay, no one's scratched. Patrick Kane, second liner. Going with Brad Marshaw and Charlie Coyle, plus five. That's unstoppable. All right, Malkin with... <gasps> what? Oh, my... Yo, we are unstoppable now. We are unstoppable now. Don't even try. Like, don't even... Tr oh, my gosh. It's over. Yo, this, this season's over. Every other team, don't, don't even bother showing up. If they see us, don't even bother showing up. Oh my gosh, this team. Right, who's got the best face-offs? Frederick does. That's the best shot. Okay, Grinch is off the off wing. Mm, that's so tempting to go like that. Nah, Bergeron's, Bergeron's better. Uh, defense, McAvoy, Letty, Bufflin, Bean. Man, Bufflin's dropping. Fitzgerald back nine in, that's fine. Power play. Oh, yes, we have Malkin now, too. With Pasternak, Kane. And we're going to get our boy, Jake Bean, in the lineup on the power play. Oh, that's so close to a plus five. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Who's a good shot? Yeah, Patrick Kane easily. Okay, Richie, Coyle, Bufflin, McAvoy. Who's not in? Uh, Coyle's fine. We need Kasha. Oh, yeah, we traded Kasha. We need DeBrusque. Wait, did we trade? Am I going crazy? We traded Kasha, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, because we got Patrick Kane back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. DeBrusque, McAvoy, Bufflin. Okay, Bufflin fits better. Let's go for Fitzgerald here. That's kind of tempting. Oh, wait, it's not... Am I crazy? Because it's one they said plus five. All right. I guess Marshall has to be on this one. Crazy. Alrighty. Here we go. That's a plus three. Oh man. This team. This team though. It's absolutely filthy. That's a plus one. Alright, Charlie Coyle with Jake Bean. McAvoy. Pasternak and Keen are already up there with Malkin. So let's put the Brusque with Coil and Bean and Stadnika. Yes. All right. And PK, we got Bergeron, Stepan, McAvoy. No. Oh, Letty fits really well. And then uh, we already have Bufflin and McAvoy up there. So instead of that, we got Vakaninen. <clears throat> Alright, like that. Bergeron's got the face-offs, yeah, coiled. Neither of them do, so we're gonna like that. That's good. Alright, Bergeron, step on, McAvoy. Holy cow. Alright, and then instead of him, instead of these two guys, Vakaninen. Yeah, we're going with that. Alrighty. I think our team's good to go. Scratch, it's fine. AHL squad. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. All right. Let's do it. We kept our goalie, obviously, but uh, let's go. Plus five on our first two lines. Not even fair. Not even fair. 
I could go like that too. So if in the playoffs something bad happens, I can switch the lines around like that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, what should I call it now? Boston Boston GM mode. Uh, say playoffs. Boston Bruins. NHL 21 oh. Done there we go all right Let's do it let's do it let's see the end of the season see how we do and uh, before the trades, before any of our moves, let's just take a note of where we were in the league. So in the league, before our moves, we were sitting ninth. In goals for per game, we were sitting second. Goals against per game, we were sitting not too great. Uh, middle of the pack. Power play, not great. PK, though, we were sitting... Not great. Special teams were not good. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do then. At the end of the season. Let's see what happens. Let's see where we can go. Uh, so let's go to April. Oof, big win. Big win over Pittsburgh. Tough loss to Toronto, but oof. All right, all right. We've only lost two games since the deadline. Only lost two games since the deadline. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this team's not even stoppable anymore. Oh my god, we lost two games since the trade deadline. Are we 10 and 0 in our last 10? I think so. I think we're 10 and 0 in our last 10. <laughs> All right, let's see what Buffalo's got. Let's see what Buffalo's got. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the quick time sim just because, uh, just for the sake of uh, the plus fives benefiting us. Oh my god, that top line. They could have a plus five on that top line. That's scary. I think they have us beat there. Second line, we have them beat for sure. Yeah, we have them beat. Third line, we have them beat by a landslide. Fourth line, we have them beat by a landslide. So it's that top line we got to shut down. Defense, they have us beat there. We have them beat there. Or about tied there. And then here, we have them beat easily. Goaltending, it's about tied. They, they have a better backup, but our, starters, our starter is stronger. So let's see how the quick time sim does for us, and if it does poorly, then we'll uh, we'll go into the slow sim. So let's see the first two games on home ice. Let's go. Game one, big win. Game two, big win. All right, let's keep it up. Game three, bigger win. Oh my god. All right, game four. Can we sweep them? We can. Oh, wow. The Bruins, man. The Bruins. All right, Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Well, actually, we should take it slow. First two games on home ice. Let's see how we do. Game one, big win. Game two, tough loss. All right, game three. Come on. Oh, okay, game four. All right, all right. Shut them down. Shut them down on home ice, boys. Let's go. All right, eight and one in the playoffs so far. Carolina. Jake Bean's going to want revenge here. I think we traded them Brandon Carl. No, we traded them picks. So, yeah, we're good. No one, no one's here to haunt us here. Let's go. Game one, game two, big wins. Game three, come on, Jake Bean, be mad. There we go. Game four, shut him down. Oh, oh, don't let him back in. Don't let him back in. No. All right, yeah, we're gonna slow sim this one. We're gonna slow sim this one. Uh, first period. No way. All right. Damn, four shots. Second period. Bro, Tuka. Tuka. Yo. Yo, Tuka Rask, bro. Malkin has 30 points in 15 games. Every no, not a single minus player on the offense. Third parents doing okay. You literally just had to not play like poo. That's all you had to do is just not play it awful. Oh my god, he's not doing any better. 
Do I go Vevelainen? Like, does he have any history in the playoffs? None. He had a 9-10 this season. How did Rask do this season? 9-04. I think we have to go with Vevelainen in this game because Tuka Rask is not good. All right, first period. Let's go. End this, please. No way. No way. Not like this. Not like this. Second period. Let's go. Jake DeBrus. Big goal on Jordan Bennington. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Third period. Third period. Come on. This is do or die. This is do or die. Come on. Evgeny Malkin. Patrick Bradmarsh. And let's go on the power play. Come on. Power play again. Power play again. Come on. Give me a goal. Come on, boys. Patrick Kane. Evgeny Malkin. Patrice Bergeron. Brad Marsh on. David Pasternak. Come on. Jake Bean. Dustin Bufflin. Come on. Come on. Charlie McAvoy. Someone get a goal for us. Someone get a goal for us. Brad Marshak, please. Please. Jack Stanika, the rookie. Come on. Actually, I don't know if he's a rookie anymore, but come on, boys. Charlie Coyle. Yo, we, got such a, we got such a squad here. We have such a squad here. Just one goal for one of the boys. Oh, my God. It's going to overtime. Game seven. Overtime. I think we're in Carolina. I'm going to be the coach. I'm going to be the coach here. <sighs> oh my god. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski here in the broadcast booth. They are ready to drop the puck on OT. Sudden death overtime is underway. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Come on, the boys. Carried along the wall. Work it. The Hurricanes gain possession along oh, the wall. No. And a nice puck Good job. inside the neutral zone. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Puck scooped up by Pesci. Okay, got a good line change. Really good line change. Moves it on over to Coyle. Wait for it. Okay, Boston's good defense change here. And it takes a shot. It's okay, that's okay. Get it back. The puck the back, boys. Come on. The Don't give him anything. Bufflin, come on. Come on, boys. Yes. Oh my gosh, yeah, we should have had that. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Okay, get and that. Kicked away. Quick pass to Is that Coyle. Kane wearing 87? That's filthy. Have it against the wall. Imagine Patrick Kane at Boston. Come on, don't, don't, don't let them shoot. Don't let him shoot. Oh, big save. Comes up with the stop. Oh, work it. Work it. Nice poke check inside the okay, attack zone. Right to the middle. Oh, good and block. Can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. Come on, boys, get there. it out. He just doesn't execute that last Yo, we can't get the puck. The, scoring opportunity. the Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. No. The Hurricanes have a hold of Thank it. Thank you. Sure. Oh, what a save by oh, Jordan Bennington. Let's get the first line out there. First line's out there in the offensive this zone. That's what we got to do. Oh, yeah. First line is their third line. They're outmatched. They're outmatched. Come on, boys. Jackson. Won the face -off. Bad face off. Carolina's there we go. Oh, no. Help me out. Four check that. I mean, sorry, pinch that. I don't, I don't know why I said four check, but. Come on, McAvoy. Good poke check. Keep him to the outside. Oh, yeah. Too many good blocks. Good blocks. All right, Malkin. Let's see it. Malkin's got the puck through the neutral zone, and now it's grabbed oh, by no. McAvoy. Pokes it away here this has been such a zone. chaotic game. The Hurricanes Come on, get it back. No. Takes no. Feed. Oh, that's a former Bruin. Sean Corrali, that's a former Bruin. All right, come on, boys. Patrice Bergeron's got to win this draw here. That's our defensive master out here. Why is he going forehead? What? Bro, overalls don't mean anything in this game, man. This guy's got 94 face-offs, and he goes forehand on a defensive draw on the right side. And then here he is deking. What? No, overalls don't mean anything in this game. What the heck? The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Come on, Richie. Boston's in transition. There we go. There we go. Oh my. Oh my God! Please. Puts it on. Pass that. He He's wide save. open. Oh my the God! Bruins He's wide open. Against the boards. Pass that. Oh my God. Stays Bergeron. with it. Pinned up along the boards. Bergeron's a mess. Got a hold of the puck. All right. For, our lines are changing there. Stretch pass. There we go. Good. Good takeaway. 
Stepan, get in. Right oh no. Pokes it away in his own end. The defense. Grab by Svechnikov. The Bruins gain control of it. Here's a short pass to step on. There we go. Go, go, go. Skeet, skeet. Skeet. How's that? The line. Come on, Trent. Carolina's Come on, Trent. Get it. it. The wall. There we go. David Krejci picks, picks it up. The Come on, boys. There you go. Good forecheck. Shoot that. Handles the puck. Oh, my God. The Hurricanes gain possession in their own end. Come on. I just want to play so bad. Nice Quick but I can't. That's not how the series works. All right, there you go. Fires Good dumping. I like it. The hurricane scoop it up along the boards. Oh, Working good job, Krejci. Inside their own end. Quick pass to Tara Vinen. Good defense. Nice work to knock the puck loose. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Dumped into the opposite corner. Carolina's got a hold of it. Let's get our defense change while we have a chance here. Picked up along the wall. Yeah, passed up. Oh no. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him, Malkin. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Get him, get him, Pasternak. Oh my God, what is this? Why am I watching? Come on, McAvoy. Yo, where are you going, McAvoy? Where are you going? Got the puck the oh, good block! Good block! Stopped. Nick Letty, the savior. And now he good pass. Oh yeah, shoot that. Pass. And that one's oh my God. Block nice block by Boston's them now. Got the puck Get that puck back. Nice Can't hit. Possession after that hit. No! Could be the game! Chance wow. to win it! Score! The series wins become more and more valuable as you move along. To get through this as the conference champions is an enormous feather in their cap. I don't think that should count. I I messed. <sighs> I clicked the button on my controller and it changed the defense instead of the forwards. Mm. My God, did we just get reverse swept? By the way. I have no one else to blame but our goaltending. By the way, I have no one else to blame but our goaltending. I remember when I was asking about going to get Demko in my head. I was like, should I get Demko instead of Rask? Should have went. Should have went with Demko. This is I think this is the most disappointing season I've ever had in my entire life, and it was literally my fault too. It was literally my fault too. It's literally my fault. 100% my fault. Oh my god, now David Pasternak wants a crazy contract. David Pasternak wants a crazy... I mean, he deserves it. He deserves every penny of that contract. 85% trick tells me 9.5 million. Something tells me he's not going to say yes to that, but I'll try it. That's tough. Malkin wants to resign. Bufflin says no. Frederick says yes. Yeah, I'll give him that. Krejci says no. He's a joke. Der Derek Stepan says no, but he'll resign. I like him. He's coming back. Siegenthaler. It's fine by me. Force Baca. Anka, Svechnikov, Fitzgerald, that's fine, Forte, Hughes, I'll say no to, that's so dis- I am s I can't even express how disappointed I am right now. But I can't even begin to express how disappointed I am in this team right now. I can't even express my disappointment right now. Like, I was expecting so much from this team. And part of it's my fault, yeah. I admit, 100%, I give up a breakaway accidentally because I clicked a button and I changed the defense. But at the same time, I can't say like, oh, 
that's the only reason why we lost in the playoffs. No, the reason why we lost in the playoffs is because we lost three in a row and made it a game seven overtime game. And our goaltenders couldn't save a beach ball. I mean, that's the reason why we lost. Ugh, that's the reason why we lost, in my opinion. Malkin says he wants to resign. Happily sign him. We're gonna run it back. That team didn't lost that game. That this team lost two games since the trade deadline. Two. I'll happily run it back. The only guy I'm gonna get rid of is Bufflin, I think. Kane says no, but I'm sure I can get him. I'm sure I can get him. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode of uh, the Boston Bruins GM Mode series and this GM Mode competition series that I'm doing where I play uh, each team in the league uh, in a random order. I'm, although the first uh, the first person to comment on this video or the next video gets to choose which team I do next after the Boston Bruins series. So uh, basically, if anything to pick from except for Anaheim and Toronto and obviously Boston. So uh, let me know in the comment section what team you think I should do next uh, but I'm stuck with Boston until I win a cup so let's see what I can do in the next one peace thanks for tuning in